Howdy partner. So you want to learn how to stop trailer sway on a small trailer? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to be installing a friction sway control on this pop-up camper. Now, this pop-up camper has a problem that a lot of pop-up campers have, and it's not just for pop-up campers, it's also for small trailers in general. And that's that when you get to highway speeds, they start to sway. And it's not that your towing vehicle isn't strong enough, it's just that they're really not made for going very fast. So this particular 1999 Coleman Mesa, it can go about 65 miles an hour. If you get over 65, it starts to sway pretty bad. Now the thing is, you can say, okay, we'll only go 60 or 65, which may be a goal, but occasionally you may have to pass somebody or something else, and it's a very unnerving feeling, you know, white knuckles when you start having that thing dancing. Also, as trucks pass, if you know what I'm talking about, it's gonna shake. So the way the friction control works is we're gonna attach it to a trailer, and it's basically gonna create a friction that enables it to keep it a little straighter. Before we get started, go ahead, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. Likes, comments, and please ask me any questions that you got or tell me what you want to do. Um, please, please, please subscribe. We'll keep going. So let's move on. Thank you. The premise behind this friction sway control is pretty simple. You have this lever that basically just tightens down on this bar here. This bar runs across here with an opening and then there's a bolt and as you turn this it tightens that bar against this other piece this piece right now you can move it by hand but as you tighten it it gives it more and more rigidity and then there's a ball that's going to connect to the trailer and then one that will connect to the to the uh, tongue of the tow vehicle so you pretty much just set it to the right rigidity and that keeps it going a little straighter just by friction of that clamp one thing about these, they're not great for backing up, and a lot of times you can actually break it if you back up. So when you pull into your campsite, or wherever you are before you back up, usually when you check in, I would take this off, and then you uh, won't have that issue. But it should add a good rigidity and a lack of uh, help to minimize the sway when you're riding. You will have to change out your hitch. They sell an adapter that will put this secondary hitch here. That sway control, as you're going to see, attaches to a small ball here and then also on the trailer. Um, I, they do sell just an adapter because of our normal one. The problem is you got to figure out which side you're going to mount that sway control. On this particular trailer, there's a welded-on uh, wheel jack here, so I can't use this side because you got to go 24 inches from here to there, and that's right in the way. So I'm going to have to use this side. When you use this side, this is not going to work this way, and the adapter that I found was only for a right side connection. So you can turn this over, which will make it a little bit of a lift, but you will then get it on this side, and then we'll measure out 24 inches and connect it. Both of them are now attached. Two inch ball for the trailer, and then this is the sway control ball, and it's a uh, 15 16 size bolt on that one larger on this one. I use a custom uh, trailer uh, Wrench to attach that. Per the instructions you need to measure 24 inches from The trailer ball center to the center of this ball You then are going to mark and drill four holes Put these bolts in and then after you do that you'll put in the last two bolts that are right there This is a pretty large holes that we're drilling through this steel frame so it's going to take a little bit of work and if you don't have an impact driver you're going to have to use a uh, socket wrench or something else to put in those bolts but it's doable that's what i'm doing there we go okay we're all bolted in that was done with just a socket wrench after we drilled the holes i would not recommend it if you can get an impact driver it'd be much easier but uh it can be done by hand. So now we're going to hook up the main ball. Then we're going to go ahead and hook up the friction control between this one and that one and see how it comes out. Pretty easy. So it looks upside down, but that's just left hand assembly. You have to actually remove the slide bar and then reinsert it the other way. Once you slide the bar over those balls, you're going to go ahead and put these pins in there and there, which holds it on. And then what you want to do is you want to tighten down the friction and you want to tighten that until it comes to a stop. So we're going to go ahead and turn it several times. So we're all hooked up, ready to go for a ride to test it out. I'll let you know how it goes. 
Okay, so we got our road test done. We actually got back a little after dark last night, so I decided to do the video this morning. And let me just tell you, that was a world of difference. That tension sway control that we put in made this camper, this pop-up camper, travel and trailer so much better. There was zero swaying. It was straight as an arrow the entire time. We went highway speed, um, you know, into the 70s, no issue whatsoever. It used to be, like I said earlier, at anything over 65 and it was all over the road, it was just sticking there. Around town, turns, everything else, it was just fine, just like normal. Um, totally worth it. The investment on this type of product is 40, 50 bucks. And the amount of safety and just comfort that it provides, I would highly recommend it. Um, and I'm not, you know, sponsoring any particular brand or anything, but it really made it feel like a much better experience. So if you're having that issue and you're having any sort of sway in your small trailer, go ahead and install a uh, friction sway control. Watch my video if you need to go through it again. And I'm pretty convinced that you can definitely have likewise good benefits. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. And uh, appreciate all the comments. Uh, like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Thanks.